Welcome back everyone. Here's your sky cam looking east towards the Highway 82 bridge and it is beautiful this morning. There were a few clouds still in the sky earlier, but we're seeing clear skies now and again it is just looking great and feeling pretty great. Current temps around the country. We're seeing 21 in Marquette, Michigan, 46 in Memphis and San Francisco and 36 in Fort Worth, Texas. Now right here close to our area, we are getting a little bit cooler. Well, we are cooler this morning due to that cold front that moved out last night. So we can see where the showers are still passing through parts of the southeast for this morning. But again, the cold front moved out late last night. The rain pushed out as well. We're still seeing those showers off to the east over Alabama, stretching into Georgia and also along the coast. And there was a wind advisory in effect, but that's already been canceled earlier this morning. So we do still have two counties in Arkansas in our area. They're still under that advisory until 9 a.m. But for the North Delta, it was supposed to last until noontime, but that canceled a little over an hour ago. So right here in the Delta is 45 in Cleveland and Greenville and 50 in Greenwood and 49 in Kosciuszko. Our winds are from the west southwest at 14 miles per hour for Greenville and westerly southwesterly at 8 for Greenwood. Our winds are still gusting around 22 miles per hour for Cleveland and Greenwood and 23 for Clarksdale. So highs will be in the upper 50s to low 60s, mostly sunny skies. Winds will be from the west southwest around 10 to 20 miles per hour, but our wind speeds will gradually be decreasing later today. Overnight lows will be in the low 40s, we'll have partly cloudy skies and easterly northeasterly winds around 10 miles per hour. And then for Friday, we'll be a tad bit cooler. Our temperatures will mainly be in the mid to upper 50s, but our southern towns could possibly reach 60 for the high for tomorrow. And then we'll have some cloud cover increasing throughout the day on Friday. Winds will be from the east southeast direction around 5 to 15 miles per hour. So the Mississippi River is at 29.2 feet this morning. It'll go down just a tad bit over the next day or two to 28.2 feet for Friday, 27.7 feet for Saturday, and then it'll slowly start to rise back up to 28 feet heading into next week. So we're seeing 27.9 feet for Sunday and 28 feet exactly for Monday and Tuesday. So we have this trough, that's that line right there. That'll be pushing east and southeast into our area as we get into late tonight and for Friday. So with this next area of low pressure, we'll have an increase in cloud cover and we'll also have some showers again for late Friday evening and early Saturday morning. So this will continue to push out of our area as we get into Friday evening and Saturday. Now again, we will have some showers for late Friday evening, Saturday morning, but with this colder air that will still be pushing into our region, it looks like any possibility of a wintry mix will stay off to the west. That's what we're still seeing closer to southwest Arkansas and parts of northern Louisiana. We should just have regular rain for early Saturday morning and then we'll be drier later in the day on Saturday and heading into Sunday. And we'll have clearer skies again as that trough pushes away from our area. So 30% chance of showers for Friday evening, and again, mainly late Friday evening. And then we'll start off Saturday with showers, should be drier heading into the afternoon and evening time. Sunday, mostly sunny, mostly dry day. Then we'll have some showers again on Monday, also mainly for the evening. And then we have our rain chances increasing to 80% for Valentine's Day. Then we'll have a break in the rain for Wednesday, but then we could possibly end out next week with rain once again. Do what you can to keep your immune system intact as our temperatures will still be up and down as this colder air moves in, then warmer air moves in again, the colder air. So just do what you can to keep yourself healthy and your immune system intact. Thank you for tuning in. Have a triumphant Thursday. And now, Michaela, back to you.